Alright guys, I hope you're all doing well, and welcome to the Dune Spice Wars Tournament Grand Final. It's going to be myself on Harkonnen, we have Deavok on the Ekaz, Faisal on the Padishah Emperor, and Hadris on the Atreides. So it should be quite a bit of fun just waiting for our last player to load in here, and we will be getting started. So overall, my game plan is going to be going for big eco. I've been kind of... The, the issue I've been having with Harkonnen is I find that I'm doing, you know, relatively well at everything, but not exceeding at any one particular thing. Um, so maybe I'll be able to take someone out, but then the other side wins on hegemony. So here I'm going to be going big money and seeing if that can yield me some advantages. All right, so let's get this up here. Grab this. I'll talk a little bit about my counselors and all that good stuff in just a moment. So I do have Raven. He gives you a villager slot, which is an extra 5% production in pretty much every village. And also, we are going to be rocking uh, Peter. So Peter's really good. He lets you sacrifice your agents to permanently make those missions cheaper, which is very, very powerful. So that is the idea. And Raven also gives you money for killing rebels. So when you're dealing with, uh, you know, dealing with your oppression and the rebellion mechanic, you can make a ton of money that way. So let's see how it goes. Good luck. Have fun to my opponents. This is the grand finals. Round one, I did play Carino, but opted to switch to Harkonnen so that uh, Thazel would be able to play them. So we are all good here. So another scout going to be coming out, not scout, but trooper. And I'll talk a little bit about tech as we get going. Going to be doing a lot of pillaging, a little bit more aggressive towards the AI. Um, you know, with a big eco, I just want to get like a massive amount of wealth, get 30% chome, and then try and push out. But obviously, chome is a little bit unpredictable, right? Sometimes other people can buy and make it a little bit harder, and uh, it can get pretty crazy. So first village here, what traits do we have? All right, so slap this down. Perfect. Run this way. Immediately get a militia here, and we can go and start with the local dialect studies and instill fear. So I'm rushing instill fear. It makes it so every time you pillage a village, uh, rather than becoming more expensive to take over, it basically uh, becomes cheaper. So you can just kind of like spam raid and do all this. And I think I'm going to take this Plascrete region just because it's, it's good. Plascrete solid. What village traits did we get here? So statecraft building. Yeah, unfortunately, this is not a bad one. Uh, the scavenger network we get 20 per um, unit dying in the region with with the rebel stuff it can be okay but all right so what do we got here we got fuel cells we got a plascrete facility this is probably like a rare minerals or something over here we'll keep tabs on that but the uh, big old baron hopefully is going to be doing some big jolly cackling here today all right so let's slap another one of uh, these heavy militia down probably just that one is fine and here is the yeah so that one we don't want to uh spend that money quite yet all right. wonder who our neighbors are. You know, most of the other factions we're playing here are pretty relaxed. They're not, like, super aggressive. Like, we don't have a Smugglers and we don't have a Fremen. Those are the ones that usually like to get pretty crunk, right? So we're not seeing either of those right now. A couple techs nearby. I want to research those, though. I don't want to grab them. This one does give us a little bit of dough, which isn't bad. It is military tech, though, so I think we need to keep that. And that is going to give us water per controlled village, which helps slow down the pain there. Let's get the Plascrete facility. And here, let's do this and this, and then grab a good old uh, manpower building so we can, you know, keep adding and get the oppression going and get a couple more uh, troopers. When Instill Fear is done, that's when we're going to start pillaging. That's the game plan there. Uh, looking around, eyeing our nearby villages. This one, actually, Solari Per, that's a pretty decent little village, but no special traits. This one does have the triple, so if we have one building of each type, we can get that going. Manpower is coming, so we can make more militia. Because our Conan villages are pretty haggard um, if you don't have uh, if you don't have the militia in them. They give you production. And if you don't have militia, it just gets it gets worse. All right, so no crazy regions. This one here might be something special. Um, let's go ahead and get another Ornithopter. I usually like to get three. Sometimes I, you know, just kind of space out and get two. But I think that's going to be fine. So Spice Harvester is out and about. Looking good. And do we want to man that yet? Not quite. But we're going to be going mostly Ecotech. So we're going to go for Instill Fear then go straight to the filtration systems. Uh, we'll get the spying logistics, and then from there we're gonna fill out this tree, basically, is our is our game plan. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how that works for us. What do you need? What do you need? So evil, I could do a little bit, but I really wanna make sure I have Instill Fear first, because it makes it way easier to grab those villages later on. Um, obviously, this is gonna hurt our eco a little bit, this manpower building. They do have a substantial upkeep of 20, which is unfortunate. How's the water here? Water here is pretty good. Um, could get another manpower building, but for now, do we want to? Let's grab a heavy militia, and uh, we could get the knowledge building as well. We're not going to be oppressing this region, probably. So we'll get a little knowledge so we can tech faster. I always wonder about the efficacy of that, if it's like a good idea. I'd like to get another trooper too for the faster one. All right, what do we have down here? Data center hegemony, not that good. 
Still, it's it's a site that we can do some work with later on, and that's about to finish. Let's get you. Let's go do some scouting, and now we have our first agent, so we can start collecting. Okay, that is what I'm talking about up there, the rare minerals. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start doing that, and we can go here. By the time they're done with it, it should be active. And this is Craft Workshop. That's not a bad one. Um, Harkon and Hegemony wins are very, very rare in my experience, but, you know, maybe, maybe there's a first time for everything, right? All right, so let's go get the water systems. Looks perfect, so now we can just start, you know, getting really aggressive on raiding these bases here. Outstanding, so let's pillage that. Although, do we want to take that one? I think we save up for this one. Yeah, the 75 there is pretty prime time. So we'll just go start hammering some of these bases that aren't terribly special near us. And uh, hopefully we'll get some sort of a good result from that. All right, so let's start selling a little bit more spice. Let's bank some money. Head over this way. Up at the top, how are we looking here? Looking okay. And then we get the martial economy and... Uh, Spice fields, spice fields. I would like to find more spice fields. These these rare mineral sites aren't bad at I, either. Like they're certainly very good, but I want to get the spice economy going. Just really, just go hard in the chum. But you know, we might not find them. We'll see. All right, so we're gonna grab this and then we're gonna do that. Let's build another trooper here soon if we can. We have two manpower buildings going. One at the moment. We'll chop that down. Get a little bit of dough. Keep scouting the land out. Yeah, not looking like we have a lot of spice near us. Could be up in this region. But the rare minerals are good for Harkonnen. You can certainly oppress those, but the spice exchange rate is like the big business later on in the in the late game here. Okay. Don't care too much about Deep Desert. Let's go up here, scout that out. And let's go ahead and pillage that. We have the Instill Fear, which is outstanding. And um, yes. then we run up here, grab this. And what does this give? Craft Workshop Hegemony. You can actually go for some weird Harkonnen style of Hegemony victory by getting the um, Symbols of Authority which lets uh, oppressed special regions give you extra authority. And you can go very wide off that in tandem with pillaging sieges and things like that. But um, it's it's a style I haven't practiced too much. All right, so what do we got down here? I'm saving Plascrete to build a special building. Um, so let's just kind of continue on our merry way. We have Carino trying to make agreements with me already, which I definitely don't want. They benefit way more than that. And all factions gain this. So let's do that and... Um, hmm. Kind of interesting, the options here. Cerberus coming out. Cerberus are really squishy, and if you lose micro on them, they just die. It's 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 my it's my special power. All right, we're just gonna make a gunner, actually. Pull you back here. Should have dove on the range unit first, but it's all good. I'm gonna decline that, because it just gives them such, such goodies if you let them get away with that. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit frightening. All right, let's pillage that down. Then we can run and grab this. We'll go heal, and uh, we're, we are holding a little bit up here. Please be a spice field. If that's a spice field up there, I'm gonna be stoked. It could be, could be. All right, good job, guys. So we're making a lot of early money, which is outstanding. Uh, we're gonna grab this special region. Spice fields, man, we're not seeing too many. I do see two special resources, so we might have to alter the way that we're gonna play. All right, so the free tech is done there. So let's go ahead and grab the free tech here. Do this. And the boys are almost healed up. We have a little bit of Plascrete we could work with in this region if we want to. So we'll do that and just slap a Plascrete building down. And perfect. Cool. Let's head on over. Let's get this. We have the Machine Gun Man. Well, he's a demolition guy, but he'll eventually be a Machine Gun Man. Looks like we have ECAS to that direction. Man, if that's a Spice Field up there, I'm going to be very happy. I'd be very, very pleased. <laughs> if we could be so fortunate. All right. Get you to dive, do this. We're actually going to take this base. Um, other votes, Diplomatic Congress. Uh, yeah, do we want to vote on our... I'm just going to passively vote on myself. Or maybe we can d decline this, actually. That's probably a better play. Yeah, because you get 100 free votes. So I'm just going to decline that, because that sucks. Especially if you're having early military running around. It's not something you want. All right, so was it Spice? It was. The gods be blessed. All right. So let's annex that, and then we go grab the spice field afterwards. Uh, this should put us up to enough hegemony at our main base to get the goods going. And now let's get our militia fully stocked out on these bases. That's why you want the early manpower, so you can, you know, get the Harkonnen villages ready to go. He says, damn minor houses. Did he lose out on a vote? Okay, so Ekaz did get diplomatic congress, which is, you know, whatever. I, I just don't want it to be on Carino. The emperor, um, he gets a lot of lands rat action there. So, all right, so that is done. 73 for that and cool so this region now we can go ahead and get the processing goodness let's go down here you want a manpower building you need a lot of manpower with harkonnen 
a whole bunch. And water is getting a little bit tight, but again, we have filtration systems coming and then we can hit the eco. So, okay, we grab this. This is like our Helm's Deep up in the top. Um, and then we can go and try and get the worm nest here, 25%. That's a very exposed region. We have ECAS directly to the south of us. Hmm. ECAS military can really, really catch you off guard if you're not if you're not ready for it. They can be surprisingly devastating. All right, let's set up this way. Uh, no missions we need to do. Let's get you on authority for now. Redeploy the harvester. And all is good in the neighborhood. All is good. Main base building, can we get that now? Yes, we can. All right, so for the main base building, we're going to start with the authority. Um, so that will make the economic tech... Uh, 20% faster to research. And like I said, we're going to be focusing on the eco pretty hard. So let's get the Arrakis agents. We can have them. Yeah, I don't know. We should have enough water to get this one too. It is four guys here though. Our water supply is kind of low. So unfortunately the troopers aren't going to be amazing. All right. So do a little bit of focus fire to make sure it's a little bit cleaner there. And uh, so far so good. Water supply is hanging in there. Let's get you back. Do this. Got to make sure we can clear them out quick enough. I think we're going to be okay. No drama there. Carthag is coming along nicely. And outstanding. So now we want to get the maintenance center here to make the buildings cheaper on uh, both of the, the peripheral regions. All right. So this one should be ours in a second. And then we'll get back to being aggressive and, you know, hitting all the different lands. That village is sauced out. Uh, let's get this and this. And then we can go ahead and... Uh, Another heavy militia there, and let's take that spice field. Prime time, prime time. All right, that is what I'm talking about. So things we could take, more free military tech here. We almost have survival training done because of that. And then we need to get spying logistics to get agent speed. So Harkonnen, you definitely want a, you know, plenty, plentiful amount of agents. I wonder who's over here. We haven't really seen yet. Our scouts, uh, it's probably Carino. So that means Hadrius is down here. Probably means I won't be having too much interaction with him. Ideally, I like to beat up on Carino early because their passive hegemony just steamrolls games if you're not careful. So, um, yeah, you got to you gotta put some respect on them for that. All right, cool. So we got a second spice field. We're going to need to get that going soon. And um, we can go ahead and slap Militia in there to make sure it doesn't get randomly jacked. And head down this way. That building will help. And now we can start raiding these different territories again, which is really nice because it will make it cheaper for us to get them later. Obviously, our economy is going to be hurting a bit right now, but once it really gets going here, we uh, we should pick up. Okay, we need to save up some Plascrete for that. Plascrete production kind of low-key sucks. But we'll get a Plascrete one in this village in a moment. And we did just spend a bunch on the uh, on the administrative hall. The Hall of Justice. Yes, Harkon and Justice. All right, so that can't be attacked for another five days. Um, this one should be ready in a moment. So, yes, let's get that. It's a refinery. And then... Let's see. Data center. Again, we can save that for later. And what's cool is the more we beat them up right now, like the more we raid these various regions, the cheaper they'll be to get for us later, which is uh, very, very Harkonnen-esque. So we can stockpile a little bit. Exchange rates are, eh, we'll keep it kind of in the middle for now. All right. So we should have finished survival training with that, which is great. Now, you always want to look for those like free tech ones if you can. Uh, for now, we'll just take the intel, I suppose. All right. So even though our economy is not great, we can uh, we can do some work here. And the martial economy. Oh, that's right. We need to get the martial economy. I almost skipped that. It's like the most important tech for Harkonnens. That and Instill Fear, I think, are are the ways to go. Okay, Ekaz is down here. Um, really, really far distance from the other players, it would seem. Continue pillaging here. Uh, manpower. We want to get the regions up here nice and defended. Oh, uh, do we have enough to play? We could play the tax negotiations game. It's only... Uh, I kind of want to save. Military development speed is increased. Yeah, I like that one. So I'm just going to put my free votes into that and just bank the rest of them. I think that's the plan. All right, let's go raid this. Um, how are we looking here as far as missions go? Manpower and intel. Don't want to give that up. Don't want have anything to do there quite yet either. All right. So soon we'll have the martial economy. We'll be getting the double spice, which is going to be pretty good. Um, and then we can just go hard in the paint on that tree there. Probably need some more Plascrete if we can. So let's get some Plascrete in this region. And then we can get the Militia fully stocked out and continue. And we'll just go like on a big raiding tour, like on the middle of the map. I think is going to be my plan here. All right. So it's been researched. Let's go ahead and get... Do we have the supply drop yet? We do not. Can't reach any of these, unfortunately. This one, um, 
That one's nice. Yes, we got free tech over there. Outstanding. All right, so let's pillage that and um, uh, let's go grab. Grabbing a, a spice field that far up the middle is going to be very risky. As far as other regions go, I do like this worm's nest. If I can get that, that'd be huge. It's 120, so it's still a ways off. So maybe we just save up for that. Ekaz could get aggressive with me early, which would be very, very scary since I'm playing a very greedy Harkonnen playstyle right now. Like just kind of ecoing. You know, not the usual, not the Baron's usual methods for sure. And did we get the water? We did. All right, so filtration systems are up. So let's go ahead and find our regions that have good water and do this and get the water going. Almost forgot to do that. Lot to take into account here. Let's go hit this region. And we voted how we want to vote. We're just banking votes for something important. You know, when something really big comes up, we're going to want to hit that. And cool. So that's going to help our water out when that finishes. And then hopefully we can get... Do we want more Plascrete? And Plascrete we do. Some more Plascrete. Yeah, military developments are slower. That's good. That's going to slow down people who are trying early aggression, which for our eco plays is ideal. All right, so let's grab another uh, let's grab another trooper here. Another gunner is fine. Continue just hitting the map, exchange rates or whatever. And uh, yeah, I wonder who ended up winning the other one. Did Ekaz go all in? Oh, Atreides went on that. Okay, so Hadri's actually voted himself pretty hard. All right, so let's pillage that. Seems fine so far. Martial economy is coming up, and then we can go down and get spying logistics. Um, and then from there, yeah, we just hit, like, hit the tech hard. We're going to be very greedy and hope we get, a, get away with it this game. All right, so villages are fully equipped. Um, water should be done in a moment, which will give us the opportunity to push out, which, you know, again, was a little bit problematic until just now. Get you and get you guys. So that base should be fully secured, and then we'll start doing the fun oppression stuff. All right. So let's get the supply drop in case things get a little bit crazy. Gather up our troopers and head for that worm nest. That's really, really out there, man. That worm nest is really out there. And it looks like this is a special region for 100% water. Military base already is making me a little bit suspicious that ECAS could be getting crunk early. Chome shares are up. Um, don't really care to buy. Eh, we could buy a little bit of chome. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get it going there. And let's keep it going. All right. So this base, we're going to go raid that. Then we'll head over to the worm's nest from there. Although maybe just charging straight to the worm's nest is going to be the play. Yeah, we do have the supply drop, so we should be okay. The troopers shouldn't get wrecked. All right, let's drop this. Let's go ahead and get the martial economy going here. I'm just going to be doing it on the spice fields for now. That's my game plan, and I, I, I think sometimes you can get a little bit carried away with it, you know. Come on, boys. Come on, you can make it. And supply drop should be ready any second, so hopefully I timed it correctly, and boom. Alright, so it's only three in here. Should be a pretty easy clear. And one moment. Do we have enough? We do. Alright, so our martial economy is online. I have to keep an eye on ECAS, but ECAS typically... I would be surprised to see them early aggress against me. Unless he knows my forbidden tactics, which uh, hopefully is not the case. Uh, how are we doing on spice at the moment? We're doing okay. The worm's nest is going to be ours. Uh, we'll need to build an airfield there as well as like missile turrets because it's, it's going to be a big one that a lot of people probably would go after. It's a, it's a very nice one. Let's grab this and let's grab this. Reveal some sieges. And uh, we would like to get under the main base building soon. So we'll save up for that. Plascrete's going. Um, this region needs water too. Our water is only at nine right now, so it's a little bit haggard, but we can do some good rating from the center of the map here. Go, go, go. All right, we research that. This is going to get military tech advanced. Our lives belong to you. Outstanding. So just in case somebody wants to come get this from us, let's go ahead and throw some militia in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, didn't finish those. A little bit potato, but it is what it is. All right, so let's get an airfield here. So we can fly around if need be. That's good. And that siege is revealed. The siege will give us water for manpower. We can't really afford to trade water away right now. So, oh, okay. So here is the uh, the emperor. All right. So he's around. He's he's chilling. We now have oppressed spice fields, which is good. And that's also going to give us plasteel too. All right. So let's uh, just start raiding these nearby territories. I'm a little bit nervous about ECAS, although, it, I mean, oh, that's a fuel cell factory. Oh, okay. I, for some reason, I thought he was going to go for go for gold and try and do some, like, big early rating on me or something, but no. Okay. That had me, that had me a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. 
the dreaded Carino pause. Um, do we want to do anything here? No, it was just a misclick, yeah. People people often do that. They're used to playing single player and stuff, and it can become a bit of a habit. Master. This gives us a good base um, with which we can, you know, launch an attack against Carino if need be. I'm hoping Hadris will keep them in, in check. All right, let's pillage that. Let's do this, and let's get the Achome integration. And we got the free military tech, outstanding. Let's reveal the Siege next, and then we can run back to this. All right. So the eco buildings will be coming along shortly. Um, how are we doing financially right now? Not bad. We can definitely just sell. The exchange rates are really good right now, so we're going to do that. Looks like some votes are up. So controlled markets. Um, I've been saving votes just to make sure this doesn't happen to me. Uh, let's put it on ECAS. I think that's going to be good. I just want to make sure I don't get this. Because if I get this, we're going to be feeling pretty bad. All right, so those fields are doing great. We're going to have enough for the, uh, this right now. Let's continue pillaging and just make it harder for the Carino to expand, basically. We'll grab this, uh, this special region soon. Also, we're going to want to get the fuel cells at some point. All right. So let's get you. How are you looking? All right. I definitely like this play style with Harkonnen, though. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, we need more, um, more uh, manpower buildings, too. A little bit potato, you know. You can you can definitely run out because the those buildings, uh, those motivated buildings, they have a manpower upkeep you have to pay. All right, so let's just keep pillaging, and um, we can go ahead and get the recruitment office here, help pay for itself. Carino is nearby, but uh, don't think they're going to come after us. We got that spice field of the gods there, pretty adequately defended. They're not really expanding towards me. Um, so much more I could be doing, I feel. All right, reveal the siege. That one is whatever. This one gives us water or solari, and we need to get more water too. We've been a little bit, a little bit slacking in that department. We only have five at the moment, so a bit haggard for sure. Let's get a decoy thumper. You never know when early aggression can come for you, so having that is very good. All right, so it's going to be three spice fields for us. That's going to be really good, and we have the economic developments coming along. Uh, he's saying Carino army is sauce, says Hadri's. Hadri's sending me a direct message, the scheming already. He's sch scheming with his brother Harkonnen here. Okay, do that. And um, I see it. Hadri's already getting into the politics of Dune. I love it. Definitely some good flavor. Let's get the water building there. And we can pillage this. Just continue our party bus. All right, so all three of these are good. I need to save up manpower though to get them like fully equipped. And you guys can, uh, we can take this region. Now we'll just we'll just grab it and um, yeah, we can come up here and help out. Although they probably want to get back here. Shit, are they gonna die in the desert? Eh, a lot of these guys might actually run out of supply shit. Yeah, sometimes happens if you get a little bit lazy on water like I am. Come on, boys. Come on, make it back to the make it back to the base. Okay, we lost one. It could be worse. Could be much worse. All right, so manpower is coming. Let's go ahead and capture this. Um, this region, we need to get water. It's one of our better water regions. And the expansion continues. We're kind of expanding away from ECAS um, towards Carino a little bit. We'll see if it works out for us. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's take the free research there. Alms for the poor. Okay, so I believe that did get voted on ECAS. Okay, good. So now I, I don't have to worry about that. That's good. I, was, that's, I was a little bit concerned I was going to get the spice markets. It's literally like a curse every single game that gets voted on me. So I had to I had to break the chain of, uh, of oppression there. All right, let's get you up. Good job, team. Um, this region, we can take that too. Only the emperor is rich. How rich is he? Holy shit. Oh, oh man, he is. Yeah, see, this is good. We have to start sparking dissent in the ranks, you know, where people are, uh, you know, looking at him as the threat. So let's just get that. We don't need the chum support too hard at the moment. I think we're all right. But it's good. The focus isn't on me, which is, you know, all it's all that a humble baron could ask for. All right, so we got that. Um, militia are coming out. All in due time. We'll get another main base building here in a second. We'll get one of the big eco buildings. 
mean, do we have enough water to clear that region? I think we do. It's going to be a little bit tight, but... All right, so this is the one, the Chome Branch. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, well, we don't have enough water for that. We'll, we'll be back in a second. Don't worry. We'll be back in a second. We need to get our water fully maxed out there. And this region, we're just going to keep pillaging. The boys are going to go back there. That has been researched. And, uh, yeah, life's good, man. No complaints. You know, we're hanging in there. The Baron is sitting. He's, uh, he's, he's relaxing. Building up an economic powerhouse. Carino, if we can get the target on Carino's head, that's like, you know... That's prime time, right? Um, let's go ahead and do this. And uh, we want to get combat drugs too. Combat drugs is always a good one to have in case you get attacked. It's very good. Okay, let's grab you guys. Looking fine. And we'll take this special region here. Looking around to see if there's anything I want to grab. Chome shares. We can start buying chome. I need to start banking spice again though, because we just paid and, you know. We were, our gravy train is, is needs to needs to relax. No, nope, don't want to attack the siege. Attacking sieges with misclicks is always fun. That's why they added that button to make sure that doesn't happen. And all right, let's grab you guys. Go raid that village. Let's get this. Let's oppress this region. I'm only gonna oppress my spice fields because I don't want to go too too heavy duty on that. Carino is pushing Hadries. All right, that's good. So he's he's weakened at the moment, which means I could backstab. But if, as long as they're fighting, I'm happy to see that. Yeah, I'm happy to, I'm actually happy. Atreides, like, on the other side of the map is a huge threat to me, whereas Carino, I know I can attack them. Yeah, a little bit of strange politics, of course. Okay, so how are we looking here? And let's take that special region. Yeah, we're going to get our, our harvesters uh, manpowered out now, so let's start, start on that. While we can, what else do we want to get here? Let's get the fuel cells. Inevitably, we're going to need them. Do a little bit of pillaging there. Get you on the Chome Branch. We're not playing Landsrad very hard at the moment. But the fact that Carino is early pushing him. Yes, look at this. There's there's some fighting down here already. All right. So we just need to be the cackling villain that like runs under the radar. Because Harkonnen, of the um, of the factions we have in the game right now, like in this lobby, you know, people probably would perceive Harkonnen to be one of the weaker ones. So I need to take advantage of that. Um, all right, so decline water sellers. Okay, let's see that. Uh, decline water. We need to decline the water. If you can't win, if you can't win it, you should be declining it. You know what I'm saying? Understood. These lands, Chad Guard, have actually been very helpful. They've been very, very helpful. Crawler on report. All right. So harvester crew action. Um, yeah, let's just do that. So then we can max out our harvesters a little bit easier. We can just like start like aggressively buying Chome later on also. What do you need? Uh, anything else I want to raid here? Yes, yeah, we can go down there and raid that and you guys can come and help out too. Should be perfectly fine. All right. So we got some brainwashed agents, always fun. Let's just slap them on counterintelligence in case somebody's like spying on me or some shit. Um, we don't need to equip our harvesters until that building finishes. Because the building we're doing makes it cheaper um, to do that. So we're gonna we're gonna do that in a moment. So Hadrius is battling Carino. I'm kind of just doing my thing up top. Ready. We're building up an economic foundation, which hopefully will be good. Um, I probably need more research facilities. The fact that I don't have more of those is kind of bad. So my knowledge sucks really, really badly right now. So we'll get the crew training program, then we'll get lay of the land. Hadrius says Carino is killing him, which is I'm more than happy to hear that. It's one less opponent like that I have to deal with late game, you know? You took my closest spice field. See, this is great. They're uh, they're politicking against one another already. Well, not even politicking, but just outward outward conflict. All right. To here, let's get manpower. A couple knowledge buildings. Um, we have enough spice now. The exchange rates are three point three. So we do we have enough to pay the tax? Not quite. Okay. We will if we do that. So this is where we get very rich. And um, as soon as this building finishes, I'm going to be able to just max out all my harvesters for very very cheap. So that is a huge win. He says, I'm Team Karina now? What does that even mean? Master? Uh, I'm struggling here too. He says, "I'm sign non-aggression with me then. <laughs> oh, Hadrius is going to be, be coming after him. Uh, here, I have to do some politics. He's fending me off a bit also. Very strong. 
See, I have to make Hadri think I'm kind of helping, like sp spread some disinformation. Yeah, it's 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 some dirtiness. What do you need? And I'll have to act like a weak, crappy Harkonnen, whereas in reality, I'm just growing fat and rich. That's that's truly the Baron's tactics. All right, so that's finished. Let's get lay of the land for the knowledge, and um, then we want to get that. And um, yeah, and then we just party from here, and, and then we can go into military very very soon. As a matter of fact. Adrius is spying on me a little bit, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go down this way. Uh, let's get some knowledge. I don't know if he's actually following me with that drone. I think it's just scouting. I'm pretty sure it's just scouting. All right, choose that. Main base has done it, and now we can go ahead and get the manpower building here. And let's sauce out our har harvesters. It's gonna be cheaper now. It's only twenty, I think. Yeah. So that one's gonna be fully sauced. That one's gonna be fully sauced. Oh, the classic uh, main base drop. All right, so I need to just get lay of the land, screw this, and then just go straight into military, because he's gonna start coming at me like a like a you know a badger here. I don't know, some sort of an angry creature. Yeah, but we got the sauce. We are definitely gonna be rich here. All right, so let's get counterintelligence. We can slap you on chome. Um, main base drop in my face is very risky. Davok is probably cackling pretty hard too. Not having to be involved in any conflicts or anything like that is always nice. Um, any bases I want to get? Probably up here. Taking that one wouldn't be bad. Um, but getting there is going to be a bit of a pain. Alright, so Spice Harvester is good. That one's good. So, yeah, we... Man, we are playing so greedy, ladies and gentlemen. We're playing so incredibly greedy here. This is... Holy shit! Oh god, no. Oh god, that is a huge army. Okay, hold on. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna lose this base here. Um, yeah, no, we we may have been too greedy. That is a big ass army. Holy shit! All right, so let's just drop a thumper here. I don't know if it's gonna matter. Maybe it will if he tries to come into that region. Um, the militia will deal with that. And now we need to get the toxic vapors. So what we need to do is use our uh, actions to save us. So let's go here. Go to the toxic vapors. Make it cheaper. And uh, yeah, wow. Okay, that's that is a nasty ass army. Okay, so let's get you. Carino getting very aggressive early, very crunk. And he's going to take that region. Do I have enough for the toxic vapors yet? I need 350. Nope, don't have quite enough. All right, so let's get a missile turret here. This is where we're going to have to make our stand. We're going to 100% lose that spice field. Uh, he's a tyrant. That is a huge ass army, guys. Wow, wow, wow. All right. So let's get ready to try and hold here. We'll have the Toxic Vapors ready for the next attack. Um, I might be able to get it. I'm chilling out on his border. He, he doesn't want me on his Imperial base, which I completely understand. Um, is there any way I could get more? Okay, don't. I can't really afford to use the manpower in that way at this point. We have manpower in this region. This region is getting a missile turret. Um, we will have enough for more main base military here. Our knowledge is so slow, though. It's so incredibly slow. All right. So the main base is going. For now, let's just get the knowledge and hegemony boost in one of the dual regions. I think it's about as good as it's going to get. And we're going to have to just yield that region and try and take it back later. Because this is just not, not a good fight for us. He's spamming, like, mass tier 1 units, which he'll fall off as the game progresses. Maybe. He's very rich. He's very, very rich. So are we. I mean, we're banking a lot. I would like to get to 10%, but I need to get some Harkonnen gunners in here. Yeah, we need to just get as much military as we can and try and hold here. Toxic Vapors will be ready soon. Um, then we can try and stop, stop his flow. Um, Hadri's looks like he got pushed back. Carino is going to make himself the tyrant this game. So there is that side of the coin. Start buying some shares. Start working our way to 10%. Um, Landsrad support, yes. Uh, wait, how much do I have? Do I have more than everybody? I do not, but I could do Diplomatic Congress um, or take the Landsrad Punishers, which would help me fight off the aggression here. All right. So is he going to come for it? I don't know. I do have a missile turret now and more troopers on the way out. Um, military tech is coming, so I should be able to fight. So my timing was a little bit off on that for sure. Uh, do I want an airfield up here? Yes. So I can get up there quickly in case I get ambushed or some other weird press happens. But he probably just didn't want me right in front of his main base. Which is completely fair, obviously. Completely fair. Alright. 
Let's grab you guys. Um, I don't have enough to get the executioners yet. I'm going to grab some more regions. Yeah, so Ekaz is at 10k hegemony. I will have Toxic Vapors. So now if he tries to push, I can I can slow his army down. It won't be a pro as much of a problem. It does suck pretty bad to lose those spice fields, though. That was that was the money. We'll get that. We'll go down here. Um, this is going to be free to attack in one day, which is a nice sight. And we can use the Toxic Vapors if he decides to push in. I really need to get the enhanced questioning. That's like that's huge. That's the one that gives it lets us really spam intel stuff. Alright, so is he gonna push? I don't know. I feel like uh we're gonna need some help against this this gentleman here. Oh, he's fleeing the scene now. Okay, so I can I'm gonna come and pillage that village for sure. Um when there's an opportunity. Alright, so let's get some executioners, some big boys out there. Looks like that's being cleared up, that's being cleared up. And the basic military tech is is now online. Good. And we'll get this village. Start spending our authority. And then we can go grab this one too and make that like a military outpost. Although that spice field there calls to me. Yeah, probably is the play. All right, let's go down here. Leave you to hold this and the main base is ready. Um, we want the intel center. Yeah, I need to get that. Plus 10 intel when killing enemy units is so incredibly good. So which one gives us the intel center? I think it's enhanced questioning. Yeah, interrogation center is what it is. Okay. What do you need? All right. So let's get you guys and you in this region. What is it all about? It's about data center. Um, but for now, it has a lot of water. So we're going to just go for the more simplistic approach. I have toxic vapors. My timing was slightly off on that. Could have had it a bit sooner. We're going to start choming it. Grab our third facility here. Hopefully Ekaz is our homie. Him and Hadries are kind of bumping up against one another, so that's good. Um, Hegemony, I'm actually doing good on it, but that's gonna that's gonna slow down here in a minute. I don't have like the same solid passive uh, options. All right, let's get the intelligence agency there. Gives us extra agent recruit speed. It's not bad. And it looks like he's going back to hammer down the Atreides. Wow. Okay. I I gotta count myself lucky. I do have the Landsrad judges now. So my army is now pretty formidable on my own turf. I could probably fight most people off. Yes. We have the fuel cells, but only 10. Let's get the upkeep production building here next and take our boys. Let's uh, raid this. Um, that is fully built. How's the rebellion going here? Let's get that fully sauced out. And once we get like all of our tier one military techs, I'll be, I'll be more comfortable going back to the other stuff. Yeah, we really need to get that. Hmm. Yeah, cut the recruitment initiative. I really need enhanced questioning. It's it's that building is so good, so incredibly good. So, oh, he was just pillaging the middle. Okay, so it wasn't like an all out all out situation there. Double missile turret. Yeah, it's a double missile turret plus the imperial base. But the problem is by putting his imperial base there, it does give me an opportunity to uh, snipe it if he if he slips up, yeah, or if I somehow get ahead of him. Right. We're ready, Baron. We're ready, Baron. All right, let's get the upkeep production. Um, we are going to need an airfield over here. Probably is our last our last building. Let's go ahead and stockpile a little bit more spice. Take some of you guys and some of you guys and do this and go raid those two places. We definitely want that border airfields. And um, let's get one agent on that in case he tries to assassinate me or some shit. And those guys can move that way. All right. So mission success here. Uh, do I want to man that one up? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's let's party. Let's have some fun. Let us have some fun. All right, mechanization will give us uh, the good tech option so we can get the machine gun tech, which is incredibly strong. Let's get the airfield down here. And great. So we're clearing out several villages. Could take one over if we want. Is there any sense to do it? This one gives us a per economy building. And you know what? Let's just grab it. This one, though, we will pillage. It's a little bit too far away. Yeah, we are slightly extended. Ekaz, though, and Hadris are rubbing together, which is nice. I, so basically, for me, my win con is just to deal with the Emperor, I think. I think those two on the bottom are going to keep each other busy for a while. And, um, yeah, and that will be that will be a dream if we can make that work. All right, so down here, we definitely want to get the, uh, the Enraged Spice. How are we doing? We could keep stockpiling, to be honest. I think it's fine. Get this more water happily. 
No, we can get cheap militia there. I, I always have the habit of getting heavy militia everywhere when you don't really need to. It's uh, it's very bronze Odie of me, but you know I can't help myself. I like the goodies. All right, so now we're going to get the enhanced questioning, which will give us good intel spam. Let's get the upgrades here. The Gatling gun and the uh, armor destruction is just like the power combo for these bad boys. I don't know if I want to incur the wrath, but if I just let Carino chill, Ekaz and I are doing pretty good on hedge at the moment. I could raid this village. I mean, I do have the toxic vapors, but it would be tough to defend all these different frontiers. Let's get more manpower here. And then we can get more military buildings as soon as we have the plascrete for it. We're here for you, We're here for you Baron. Raiding the other territories, it's kind of hard. This one, though, wouldn't be bad. Man, I'm, I'm afraid of... I want to catch him when he's like... Okay, he's got the siege drone, so it's about to get real annoying here. So we probably are going to have to use politics against him. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and get Carino and vote their military power down into the pits. And try to, at least. The siege drones, yeah, we don't want to make enemies with him at the moment. We're going to need to probably 2v1 him. Carino is so strong. People always say they're not, and I'm just like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what, you're, what you've been looking at. They just feel like so, so easy mode. Um, okay, so next up, let's go ahead and get more manpower here to pay for that. We're going to kind of chill back, try and get everything stable again, if possible. Um, this region, the water is finished. And yeah, we. I would like Carino to beat someone else up. Okay, Hadrius is being attacked by Ekaz, which is great. If I can just stay out of conflict and be the Baron, you know, then then I think we're going to be sitting okay. Um, 7%, yeah. Nobody else is really going too hard in the Chome shares at the moment, but let's go ahead and sell more of that. Should have been doing that better. Uh, all right, we need the manpower. Space and guild favor. Um, I do not even have a branch yet. We'll build the branch in here as soon as we can, but I would like to get some more main base stuff. So we'll get a barracks. Barracks is very nice. 10% power to your military units is sweet and experience gains. Although the spacing branch, I don't know. Don't know how that's going to go. So special regions, we have a couple. We do have a couple. Yeah, I think I, I got to keep investing that way. Hadrius is being captured by Ekaz. The Atreides is definitely not in the happiest like spawn over there. It's um, it's not, not pleasant for him. So we have an airfield here, airfield here. We have 108, which isn't much. Uh, let's take some Landsrad standing. Sure, why not? We can we can try and creep our way up to uh, good standing. Chum shares are on discount. Let's buy some. Get up to that 10% so we can be sitting pretty. And um, how are we looking here? Yeah, our militia should hold firm. Enhanced questioning will give us the interrogation center. And did Carino get voted or did I? Okay, water regulations hit everybody, which is fine. It's going to hurt everybody's authority, but whatever. It's like... I'm I'm cool with it. I'm just I'm I'm I've pretty much got most of the territory I want, so I'm I'm very happy. All right, let's get that, and then here we can also get a plascrete facility. Sure, why not? And here, uh, do we want more plas plascrete? Not really. I think we're okay on that. A couple rebels are doing raiding, um, so that's good. Spy mastery is very nice. Chome support probably is what we want to get next to maximize our um, our spice operations, which are very good. Like, very, very good. Yeah, all right. So no attacks on us. Our eco is a little bit rough right now because of the uh, because of the different rebellions we have, but should pick up in a moment. Cool. Uh, airfield there is probably good, but not as urgent. Is there more places we can raid? We can go grab this, although now we don't have the money for it, so yeah, not going to happen. Top territories available. Um, Ekaz is doing pretty good on hegemony. Hadrius is desperately fighting for his life down here. He might be able to, but yeah, I need to just get that steamroller army going so I can take down the emperor. The emperor's new groove. Okay, Carino is now building. Uh, Carino building. How many sites do I call it out? I kind of want them to keep bashing each other down there. Get her the manpower building. And cool. The exchange rates aren't that amazing. We have the chum support on the way. What other techs can I get? Sure, let's take you. It gives us a free unit. And over here, main base is building it up. Um, do we want to get intel? Man, the manpower is going to be really, really costing us a lot. But hopefully it'll be worth it. Stealth probe. And as far as this stuff goes, sleep agents are always pretty good for fighting. And we have mostly lower tier troops. It's the same ones we basically had since the early game, which is pretty wild. 
So those two are going ham. Okay. We're sitting kind of under the radar still. Like, I don't want to draw the ire. Okay, so Carino is going Carino's going double hegemony sites now. Oh, man, I love that this is going badly down here, though. That that pretty much is going to take the Atreides out of the game. Like, my inner Baron Harkonnen is just, like, cackling. I'm just like, yes. Yes, let him fall and suffer. All right, so in this region, it's almost fully built out, but it is 400 for that. Harkonnen DPS is pretty fat. Um, we need to get the interrogation center, though. That one's just so good. It's so, so good. Yeah, it makes it so when we kill our rebels, we get, we're get we basically getting intel off that, which is just super powerful. All right, so we have enough to pay this, so let's just collect as much money as we possibly can and get to 10% shares. Uh, Carino's at 14. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, so now we get to kind of see what their army looks like. They're going for a renegade base. Let's actually run over there and see if we can interrupt that. That would be pretty funny. Um, yeah, we'll send you down here. Let's go check that out. This might be a good time to attack, actually. How's his army look? Eh, it's sizable. It's a, is there a Sardaukar in there? There's a couple Sardaukar. Okay. Yeah, we're not quite ready to take him on. Are we richer than him, at least? Karinos is still richer than me, somehow. Somehow Palpatine has returned. All right, so no military base here kind of sucks. Let's take this territory. Do we have enough? No, that, that damn thing is still trolling us. Water Cellar Union is active. Um, let's go ahead and preserve the ruins and get that. Now we should have enough to get it. So we're going to grab this base and build the military bases there and whatnot. Heavy militia. And cool. So when that finishes, we got to go hard down the military tech line. Because our command points are just so low right now that we can't really do too much. We can defend, but we can't like aggress too well. All right. So that's going to be taken by us. At this point, just take whatever territory you can get. You know, just like whatever... Are we going to go negative into the uh, into the the authority? Probably, actually, probably so. Scavenger teams are nice, cool. I think we should be fine. I think that cycle should end before it gets too crazy. Okay, so they're coming up to siege now, which is fine. If they commit to a big attack on either of my territories, I can get them with the toxic vapors. Yeah, this is scary though. Karino is very scary. Usually, they need to be two v one in my experience. All right, let's get a military turret there. We're just going to pull back and just kind of cackle a little bit, see where he decides to go. Water Cellars Union. I actually do have some influence, which is funny. Um, but let's just try and vote ourselves on that, see if people aren't paying attention. Could totally be a thing. And uh, this is about to finish here. So then we just get the Toxic Vapors being dropped. We could go fight it, but I don't want to lose my army, so let's just let him like think he's going to take this. And cool, drop the Toxic Vapors, soften up the army. And then we need to sacrifice another agent, a brainwashed one preferably, on the Toxic Vapors round two, and have it ready for another uh, another attempt. Yeah, so he's gonna leave, because his whole army will die if he stays there. So it's he, he might leave like one or two. Yeah, I need help. He's stronger than me. The Baron has to, has to call for aid. Okay, we got 10% hedge, that's gonna give us some more influence. And um, up on the top side, how are we looking? We could abandon this village. We could. Hopefully the ECAS will come and help me. It's kind of the game plan. We can just come and dive this one unit on here. Let's drop the worm so his reinforcements won't be able to make it. And then we just kind of take these guys, this last guy down and yeah, it should give us that territory. Yeah, all right, cool. Those siege drones are really, really nasty too. They're brutal. All right. So yeah, crisis averted, and you know that's how we fend off the superior army is with these uh, with these missions. I'm gonna see if I can sneak the water sellers union past people. I'm not I'm not expecting to have much success with it, but um, hopefully we will. So, all right. So then here we can get toxic vapors again. What's cool is every time we do one of those missions, it permanently makes um, all the other ones cheaper, which is awesome. Okay, he's mismicroing here. Looks like he's maybe being attacked somewhere else. I don't know. But yeah, he's going to start catching us on hegemony very quickly here. Come on, eat the drones. They're just sitting there. Oh my god, eat them. This this Shai Halud is just so lazy. He's He is not paying his bills. That is for sure. Okay, let's start stockpiling a little bit again. And uh, does he really, does he want round two here? If it's only like a partial army here. Yeah, we could probably fight this actually. We'll do combat drugs, uh, sleep agents. 
scavenger teams, and we'll see what we can do. Yeah, he's losing a fair amount of units. They're being chased down. We have the sleeper agent action. Um, so let's go ahead and just, oh, good, we got some more guys. Great, so these guys should be able to keep further aggression from getting out of control, but overall it's not going badly. We're probably gonna lose the fight, but um, you know he's gonna lose a fair amount of units in the process, and we can drop the toxic vapors here too. Now that my army's gone, just whatever, you know, we just, we're just chilling. And uh, we just kind of keep draining him like this. Okay, let's keep buying, keep getting those head shares. All's good in the neighborhood. Let's get a military base here. Am I gonna have to resort to nuclear, uh, nuclear tactics? Maybe so. Command post, he's trying to liberate it, but he's gonna learn the hard way. Look, look, oh yes, evil, evil schemes. Perfect. Yeah, we should be able to salvage that with that, that mission going there. All right, so let's get this, this and this, looks good. ECAS needs to come over. Um, and once again, those guys are probably gonna get pushed back once we get a, a few more dudes. Our manpower is maxed out, which is great. Uh, let's go ahead here and we can just get some extra water. Those villages fully developed. Hopefully ECAS doesn't attack me on their way though. That would be very unfortunate. That would be very, very unfortunate. Okay. That was a good defense though, that was good. And we can go ahead and move back down with these guys and knock these troopers off, but let's gather up our troops first. If we could just knock them off, it'll reset the um, it'll reset the whole timer and basically just make his, his push miserable. Shares are on discount, let's buy some. See, this is where I can slowly start creeping back into power, right? All right, let's snipe him, snipe him, snipe him. Come on, get him off, get him off. There we go, all right, perfect and perfect. And now it's gonna reset the timer. We can engage them in the desert here. And they're mostly range units, so we should be able to hunt them down here. Scavenger teams. And you can see the decap is going down. We are in melee here, combat drugs as well. Why not? We are getting some kills. Let's get on the range units. And the range units, yeah, he's that overlord ship he has is so good. Let's slap some militia in there in a turret, see if that, that can finish. Uh, all right, so as far as Asian action goes, I mean, we, we need we need way more stuff. He's very strong. It's going to take him a minute, though. Like, he's not having a good time here. All right, so let's go ahead and do another, uh, let's see, Toxic Vapors. Yeah, we're permanently making that mission cheaper, which is our best tool. Um, Davok needs to not attack me, so let's see. Do we have a non-aggression? We do. All right, so Davok is coming here, which is perfect. The Baron, the Baron needs some help. He needs some milk while we slowly just buy Chome, because we're still very rich. We're making good money at this point. All right, let's, uh, we need to make a little bit more here. Ready for destruction. And once the training facility's up, that's gonna give us a nice combat buff, for sure. What's our next step? Probably need to build a spacing branch. So let's do that and get the spacing branch. So then we can potentially do that. Okay. Ready so let's do this. Let's, uh, let's see if DC or leave. Give it a minute. All right, so we probably get the spacing branch here. Um, do we have any way? Yeah, gain influence or Landsrad standing. The influence isn't as useful. Says he froze. Okay, so he can reconnect. Dune governorship is up. Oh boy. I think Atreides is really far behind. Like Hadrius has been getting bullied in the corner. Uh, all right, let's resume it. I guess. Yeah, I think I think everybody was back. Okay, let's go down here. Let's uh, do this and uh, get more executioners for them. We can go ahead and get the uh, this and we can get the dual swords. Actually, a little bit of tankiness is good. Um, let's just go hard DPS on executioners. All right, start blasting these to car. See if we can lure them off the point. That would be the ultimate meme. Yes, machine, machine gun him down, brothers. All right, so do we have enough for this? We do have the, the decoy thumper. Yeah. <laughs> he wants that base so bad, dude, but he just keeps losing it. To the troll legions. Oh, that's so funny, dude. Okay, Ekaz is threatening. We're probably gonna, man, governor. Uh, okay, vote down gov, by the way. Everyone needs to vote down governor. Like everyone needs to vote that down. Or you could vote as, make him the governor if you're Carino and force us to kill him, which is like the MLG play. Okay, so he's trying to creep up here. He's going to get there before the militia do, which is unfortunate. Um, 
We have any more brainwashed agents to sacrifice for the toxic vapors? Yes. Perfect. So we should be able to do that again pretty soon, actually. All right. So the boys are back. We need to get that that uh, that training center. Yeah, that's the uh, that's that one. What are we missing for that? Parallel training, which is about to finish. That's going to make us like be able to compete in military a lot better. All right. So let's just gather. We're not in any rush. Unfortunately, we're not doing super well financially at the moment. Um, we haven't been able to expand in a while. Let's grab this. Um, do that. Space and Guild Branch should be about done. This region. Let's see if there's anything we want to get. Some random intel buildings. Never hurt anybody. And yeah, we have some time. We have some time. Could go around the top and do a little bit of play there. But parallel training will give us more training slots. And then um, that's when we can start competing with this military. Because for now, it's, it's not great. It's definitely not great. All right, we have the decoy thumper. So we can basically secure this. Yeah, that Harkonnen Intel building is crazy good, though. It's super nice. Okay, see, so 224 for that. We're at plus 18. All right, so you guys keep rolling, rolling. We're at 14% share, so our our goal of playing the Chome is going okay. And let's go ahead and get that. Outstanding. All right, so now we can start spamming out the gunners, which just melts the air. Let's move down here with what little you know goon squad we have. If I can get the militia and the turret, that's really going to screw them up. And um, we will preemptively throw down the thumper here to keep him from getting his reinforcements. All right. So moving in. What's good is we haven't given any ground to Carino. Like, they may have done well, but they haven't been able to take ground off us. So, yeah, we're just going to pull back now. Outstanding. So let's get the toxic vapors. Retreat back. Get a mass military and hopefully live our best life. Yeah, Ekaz is sitting pretty good on Hegemony. They're at 18k. The big Chungus warship is coming. But this time we're... Yeah, see, he got... <laughs> he got the worm. He got the worm, baby. All right. So the military upkeep obviously starting to take a toll on our economy. Um, let's just get some random income buildings wherever is needed. Ekaz might need to be slowed down too. Man, it's, pro it's a problem. For you. <laughs> I'm not, I'm barely spending anything, dude. This is going fine for me. Get some Cerberus in there too. All right. So we got that, and um, let's just throw in random income buildings. Ekaz prob needs to go. 18k hedge plus gov eligible. Let's see who owns the political offices. Hey, I actually got water sellers union. Holy shit, that actually slipped by earlier. Okay, so yeah. Hmm, this is a this is a tricky a tricky one. I'm finally strong enough that I can maybe fight him. Hadrius has a bone to pick with Ecas too. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let them fight, you know, and then and then I can just backstab him later. If the most Harkonnen thing ever, I can just backstab him later. Screw it, screw it. I got a boom. Uh, I got a boom to stop Carino. Yeah. All right, so let's go grab some territory. Try and re-establish re ourselves as a, as a power here in this game. Let those two fight. And we're going to go grab these. Because Carino is only at 14 right now. They're not like super jacked. Hadris is here with a potential backstab on Carino. And I can break that truce with Carino pretty much any time. So it's it's not a huge deal. Um, infiltration cells. Yeah, we need to get infiltration cells on like everybody. Do we have any sacrificed agents? Arax's butchers will give us a full-sized army. Which is outstanding. So that is going to go there. And we are pretty good on manpower for sure. Let's take that. Do I, Is there any other special like regions I want to oppress? This one actually probably would be prudent to oppress. So let's cut this manpower building and do this. And outstanding. And then we can get the nuclear silos, I suppose. We definitely need some better spice exchange rates. That's, uh, that's not the best for us at the moment. And let's get the, um, let's just get the basic, uh, yeah, spice silo is not bad. Not bad. Not a bad building. Chome shares are up. Ekaz got absolutely steamrolled by Carino. So that's, this is good because this is going to slow Ekaz's hedge down. And meanwhile, we can just kind of barren in the background, you know. Let's go ahead and uh, get you ready to party. Pull back. And the Baron using his most dreaded tactics to keep his foes at bay. 
Um, we can go grab more territory up here. 106 for that one, but, you know, we are in the hegemony race. We're not, like, behind it. I love this. This is pretty... This is good. This is working out. And then we can hopefully get everybody to turn on Carino at some point. All right. Do we want to buy more shares? Um, the exchange rate's super good right now, so let's sell for a while. We're getting 500 a minute right now, which is great. Um, this region, is there anything else we want to oppress? Honestly, at this point, I think we can afford to be a more oppressive towards all our regions. And we need to get savage uh, the Savage Cleansing too. So when we kill Sieges, we get more authority. It's um, I think at this point, we haven't been playing Sieges, so that's probably our best bet. Because Carino is very accessible. Like, I could kill his main base incredibly quickly. And the fact that him and um, Homeboy here are fighting is good. So let's drop an Infiltration Cell. Ooh, this is a great spot for one. We'll drop one right there. Cool. And um, Counterintelligence for us. There's so many techs we need that we just don't have. It's, 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 uh, it's rough. <laughs> There's so much I want. Ecaz at 20k hegemony, so yeah, they, they need to go probably. Um, do I have enough fuel cells for the research center? We will soon. And Ecaz is about to lose the middle, which is going to drop them down. Hadries is really the next highest on hegemony? That's crazy. All right. I'm getting all the different combat buffs. Um, speaker of the council, controlled markets. Slap that bad boy on Carino if we can. That would be prime time if we can get Carino slowed down a little bit. And do we have enough for the research center? Research station? I really want it. All right. So that looks fine. Carino flagship down. Nice. The problem is Carino can just rebuild it super easily, so they don't even care. It'll it'll literally just be back in a minute. All right. So Arrakis' Butchers is coming, which gives us manpower when we kill rebels. And then from there, we get Savage Cleansing. Although Spy Mastery... Yeah, Spine Mastery might be better just to get those two. So we can potentially do some assassinations. Freeing mid. See, I could just go backstab Karina right now, too. I could just, like, break this and, you know. The question is, how strong are they? Um, so Ekaz is now down. Karina's getting the... Yeah, we got to turn on Karina. We can't. Uh, it, you know, I've learned... From, you know, I've, I've learned too many times what happens if you leave Karina alone. They just They just get so strong. He says, why am I the threat? Well, we've we played this game long enough to know that, uh, you know, if you leave Karina alone, alone, you're going to pay the troll toll. The worm's nest is here. Take this. Let's go ahead and pillage it and destroy all these buildings if we can. And you guys can snipe these and these. Yeah, all right, cool. So basically just trying to kill whatever we can. We, we're happy to lose this army. Not happy, but, you know, it's 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 a it's a possibility. Uh, good luck, have fun. Looks like Hadrian is having some network issues. He's been having those lately a little bit, but, yeah. I mean, he's definitely in the worst position. Still could make a difference, though. If he can't reconnect, I mean, we've been playing for, like, you know, an hour or so. Replaying the whole game would be a little bit, a little bit rough. Resume when ready. All right, so down here, we just finished this base. And now we can probably steamroll this Imperial base. And then we assassinate e the Ekaz. And um, we're in we're in good shape there. All right, let's mow down this Conscript Swordsman. The DPS is pretty nutty on these guys. All right, so let's get you guys. Do this, this, this. We didn't quite get the pillage off, but we basically accomplished what we came to do, which was, uh, which was you know, slowing the, slowing the roll in those bad boys. And thankfully, the AI is still... Uh, maybe he'll be able to reconnect. I mean, I hope so, but, you know, you never know. Okay, so my income just went down a little bit. So let's pull back and grab some territories. Arrakis' Butchers will give us pretty much a top-tier military. Um, and then we need to get those other two techs. Yeah, and that should be finishing soon. Um, we don't need the airfield there, I suppose. Let's get this. This is gonna, this is gonna be an interesting game. It's gonna be down to the wire. He lost the middle. So Carino's hedge is now down a bit. I don't have any passive hedge though, which sucks. But I'm gonna grab this space over here and see what we can do. You can see I can train huge militaries very quickly now. Um, Sleeper agent is always very good. Let's plop that one down. Um, buy more hedge. Yeah, let's just keep buying our way up to 30%. What's really nice is the ECAS main base is literally just right on my border. So it's like a super vulnerable spot that I could for sure attack. 
All right, let's do that. And then we can get basically just gunners. It's good to get like one or two stealth probes in there. And yeah, here he's, he hit the main, the mothership of doom is back. It's, it's here. Arrakis' Butcher, Spying Mastery is on the way. We now have 23 knowledge, which is good. For you, Baron. Keep you guys there. Don't need that many. Nice you want to take every every base you can, basically. Yeah, and if he goes for any of my territories, I can just use the dreaded Toxic Gas. Which is such a such a nice safety net as the Harkonnen. We're, We're making 500. We're doing very well financially. Um, very, very well. And now we have a bit of an a interesting dilemma. The Atreides AI is, um, I guess I'm already in a non-aggression with them, so they're pretty much going to be a non-factor, I suppose. All right, so we got that region. Let's sauce that one up. What does it actually do? Um, do we need water or anything? Let's go ahead and get knowledge. And just kind of gather up in the middle and hang out. All right, so our hedge is 18. Ekaz is getting a little bit strong. I might want to go test my might against Ekaz on the top. Um... So if he pushes me, I can get him with the old toxic razzle dazzle. This base, yeah, I guess we have the assassination in the works, right? So that's that's the plan, the plan here. All right, so let's get um, you here, and then you can go there. There is no more space for an operation. Okay, so let's cut the this, and we need to get another infiltration cell. And I think the assassination on the ECAS is the play, leaving me in a one v one with the emperor who's been weakened. It's probably my best bet. Man, yeah, you can see the, the they're they're racing me on the shares. They're not they're not making it easy, that's for sure. All right, so this one can be a uh, listening post. Very weird situation. Very very weird. Okay, the official disconnect. So those guys are ready to go. Let's get you guys with. Um, yeah, they're supposed to die. Those guys, so we can drop that. All right. So how are we looking? Let's grab that knowledge. Knowledge is power. Infiltration cells are coming. The other one probably just goes like right in the front here, to be honest. Is he attacking me? Okay, so what's up? Um, governorship. Okay, uh, Faisal, Gov is up. Does he have enough to beat both of us? He can outvote us both. It is time. Oh, Hadri's reconnected. Look at that. I thought he was like fully disconnected. That's wild. Okay. They were saying that he he had no chance, like he was fully gone, so hopefully he's back now. Um, all right. So we gotta we gotta just go hard in the paint here. He doesn't even have a barracks yet. Um, his main base is not fully developed. So we will move with our force while setting up an infiltration cell right here. Then we need to get the assassination going, which requires level three. So we're gonna we're gonna pop the pop the jams on that. Okay, looks good. Nice. Okay, so he's back. He didn't miss too much, really. I mean, he got the middle back, which was good. So, all right. So I'm out of water. The classics, the Harkonnens, they're just oppressing everything, and they just lose track of themselves. Um, no, we do not want that. We actually want a military base here. It'd be stupid not to have one. Although, do we have one in this region? We do not. Okay, so Ekaz is up on hegemony. Let's see this. In a way, Hadrius did get some AI cheating, because while he was gone, the AI was probably getting free resources. Uh, decline Gov. Let's put one point in that. Okay. Decline Gov. It says he disconnected again. Very weird. Uh, Non-aggression pact, yes. At this point, we kind of have to. Davok's going to just cackle if we don't. So that, that needs to be done. Like, I'm here, ready to party. But he's very, very well defended here. Um... Buy some more chome shares. We're at 18%. Uh, we attack at same time. I can actually direct message him. We attack at same time. M watching you. I will attack main base. All right. So the big Harkonnen politics are on the way. We're going to keep choming it, trying to get closer and closer. Uh, very lazy here. Should have had these guys on our harvesters. I don't know why I can't just... There's one. And um, you come down here, do this, and then the other one can come down here and do this. I believe they're all fully equipped. Yeah, they are. So I'm, my army is going to get wrecked going into his main base, but Faisal needs to go in and, and just hit him hard. So Spying Mastery is up. We almost have the assassination on him, but the Atreides are actually like playing the hedge game very well, too. I could, like, I'm, 
Oh, man, I always get caught in that weird position with Harkonnen. It's very strange. But, like, Davok here could die very easily. If his main base gets, like, just karate chopped by us. Uh, all right, so administrative burden. Um, do we have the main base damage one? We do not, but we're going to go for the main base anyways. All right, so you get dropped. Let's get rid of this. And we're just going to go for the main base. Yeah, we're going to make a run for it. I think we can beat it. Drop the sandworm there. Come on, buddy. Come on, Harkonnens. Pump those evil legs. All right, they pumped the evil legs adequately well. So now we're going to hammer the main base pretty hard. And um, let's just get these scavenger teams ready to go. And yeah, so we're going to just get wrecked here, obviously. We'll drop the toxic gas, do as much damage as we possibly can, and then rebuild this army here, because, you know, we were being shot by missiles in his territory, so. All right, so a little bit of damage done. Some of the Harkonnen still fighting, beating on the main base. But now, you know, he's governor, so he needs to die. That's basically it. So we need to get the, um, the not administrative burden, but defense breaches. Oh, we don't have enough lands ride level, so I guess it's just going to be that for now. The assassination is still on the table. I don't know if it'll be quick enough, but we'll try. And hopefully Faisal is making some progress, too. Yeah, his army's beat up now. It is being hit by the poison gas. Um, Hadris wants influence. Oh, is he trying to, like, ask for it to vote? I don't know that, if that would make sense, but... Yeah, anyways, I'll be back with another army soon. Let's get combat drugs and toxic vapors. All the goodies. And the assassination, I'll pop it as soon as I can get it. Yeah, so we're making progress. I don't know if Hadris is here, if it's AI Hadris. But regardless, um, we'll be back for round two in a second. Yeah, and yep, let's just get all the debuffs. And uh, yeah, it looks like Carino's making making some ground. Okay, perfect. Let's grab you guys. And you guys, uh, is there any other ECAS bases I want to take down? I could go on the periphery, but basically the only way to end this is to kill him, right? So we're gonna we're gonna have to just do it the old-fashioned way. Let's just have these guys shuttle down. Buy some more shares up in the meantime. 25 days, it's it's we got we got some time. We got some time. Plus the assassination is on the horizon, so um, that is gonna be very good. What are we missing here? We need lands rad levels, right? So what do we need? Three, one, one, and one. So let's have you go here. Unfortunately, it's gonna hurt our eco having to pull off chome, but at this point, not too many choices. Alright. So here it comes. The fight of fights. I'm going to drop Toxic Vapors on his army there. Try and slow him down. So that Ekaz army is going to be taking a lot of extra damage here. Hopefully Carino chases him. Oh, take advantage of that. Hunt him! Okay, well, he's getting a forward operating base, which is very good. All right, so we got more agents. Um, outstanding. Let's slap you here to make sure that party gets going. And let's just keep it up. We can send this army in to fight, I suppose. Or, you know... Yeah, we just get the assassination going, and hopefully hopefully that wins it for us. We'll be able to do it instantly because of the uh, the agent ability. Yeah, it's a good thing, though. Carino is is making progress here. Uh, I need to save that, that data. I could dive his main base again, but I need to wait for him to move out and fight. And then this will give us nefarious axe. Yeah, makes the assassin cheaper. And then siege incentives, I guess. All right, so we got more agents. Good, good. Let's get them. What are we missing? Inf insufficient ECAS level, and Landsrad should be there soon. Okay, great. So we got two cells. This one is going to be very, very disruptive. And if he's like busy fighting, it's very hard to um, it's very hard to get your your you know focus together. All right. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna go in just with like a partial army. I mean, it's still something, but. Yeah, let's go. All right. So I'm going to surround around the back here. I'm just going to... I don't care. I'm just going eat to it, eat it like a champ here. Kill as much as I can. Okay, we're killing units, which is good. Yeah, as long as damage is being done, Carino can come clean up afterwards, and then, you know, we, we get him. Right, that's that. Like, pull back the guns. Let's put the administrative burden on him so he can't make more units. And um, we can launch the assassination in a moment. His main army is running away. Okay, let's get these guys. He's not going to be able to remake things easily. Let's lure these guys. And the assassination attempt is really, really close. Okay, run back here. And uh, Foliage is getting smashed. He needs to kill his army, though. We'll have another attempt at this, though. We're still pretty early on. 
And I, I don't have no idea what Atreides is doing. They're just cackling in the shadows somewhere, I'm sure. All right, so Siege Incentives is on the way. That could help us. And then I need to rush Symbols of Authority. I have a decent chance here. Um, he's going to struggle to remake units for sure. But we need to get the level three. Come on, come on, give it to us. Ah, it's so close. All right, so Judge of the Council. Loss of rights. Um, I am down to support that, actually. Loss of rights. He's probably going to want to vote that himself. Foliage is still in good shape, unfortunately. And is this almost ready? Oh, man, we lost a guy there. Hate when that happens. All right. Right when you think you're about to get him. It, it was available for like a second. I saw it. It, it was there. All right, let's get another wave of gunners. Move in. Unassigned agents. Let's get you back on Arrakis. Um, loss of rights. Loss of rights. Come on, baby. Come on. And the assassination I'm saving. Oops, wrong button. Saving all my intel for that. Okay, so let's drop an agent in there. And now we have the assassination available. So we are going to go ahead and get that party started. And uh, he hasn't detected it yet. We need to get assassins out ASAP. And let's go down here. All right. New charter. Vote loss of rights. I don't know if it's Hadries or if it's AI Hadries. That's that's the one of the problems here. I'm not sure what the uh, real nature of the beast is. Siege incentives are still taking some time, but um, it's undetected at the moment. So I don't know if it will beat his 12 day governorship, but even if it doesn't, it's still a way to kill him. Okay, loss. Did we get it? No, it's close. All right, Thazel, you need to get in there one more time, buddy. Enemy very close to hegemony victory also. Oh, Hadris. I, I don't know if that's Hadris or his AI. Wouldn't it be funny if the AI won the tournament? <laughs> just because he dropped it, it was like we're all fighting and it's just sitting there doing nothing. All right, let's have you run over here, buddy. Okay, drop ship down. Main base. Uh, round two. Here we go. The assassination's going, but it's at 67% right now, which isn't amazing. Um, yeah, the main base burden thing, I need that. I'm stretched pretty thin on agents for sure. Come on, buddy. Let's get it. Has he detected it? No, he has not. Okay, we gotta wait for the water to come back. Where is Thazel? I need you! Are the Atreides just trolling? I don't know if they I don't know if that's Hadrius or not. Okay, so opportunities here. Sure, let's take that money. Oh, we got the loss of rights on him. Oh now he can die to my assassination. Yes! Harkonnens are back in it, baby! Let's go! But now we got to deal with the, um, okay. Okay, Dave. We deal with, uh, with, uh, Carino now. Passive hedge. Okay, so now, oh, this is, like, working out perfectly. Meanwhile, he's getting assassinated. Alright, let's just keep going down here. Is it... Hadries or AI? You see, that's the that's the great conspiracy here that we need to we need to solve. Okay, well, it could be him. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and do this. Send it a non-aggression pack. Non-aggression it. Oh man. Okay, hold on. Ecas is creeping up here too, but I guess I have the assassination on them, right? Yes. Have you made a decision? All right. So he's barely made it. Despite having literally negative water. I don't know why. Ah, a couple of regions rebelled at the exact same time. We got to get rid of some of the plasteel buildings we have and replace them with... Um, that's something I always forget to do in the late game. Alright, let's do that. Get some water. And uh, this region. Get some uh, random money. The assassination attempt is detected. So I'm just going to chill out and continue this. Because it seems to be working adequately well. Uh, we need to get some more intel. We can't send any more at the, this point. It's so funny that that base is just getting hammered. Ecaz is coming. They're nice and angry. Okay, let's get another assassin. Drop him in here. Should put us uh, solid on water. Oh god, this is so haggard, dude. This is just so janky. I wonder if he knows about it. Yeah, that, that, that side over there is really, really funny. Okay, what the hell is going on that we have negative water? Okay, let's get rid of the stupid mercenary, for starters. Um, now we're back in the positive in the water game. Okay, good. 
More brainwashed agents. Um, let's do this. Karino's coming by me now. Yes, good, good. So we can just, we can go assassinate here. And now it, I think it's time to, you know, screw this building. We're not even gonna use spaceships this game. We're gonna just replace that with a nuke silo. All right, um, let's do that. Can we do the nuclear silo? We need 10 fuel cells. I don't even know what's using fuel cells right now. I guess this guy. All right, that's only one, I suppose. Yeah, we really don't have too many fuel cells, geez. Okay, so go there. The assassination is still at 41%. If we get it a couple more times, we're going to be cackling all the way to the bank. Um, Siege Incentives is about to finish, so we can go... Man, what's what's up for the govern governance? Yeah, because I'm just behind. Like, I just have to go Mortal Wombat here. All right. Oh, just Harkonnen things, man. Just stressful Harkonnen things. Okay, so the Space and Guild branch is fine. Um, what do we need Plascrete-wise? That's going to be taken care of by the Rebels. The dreaded AI is just trolling here. Missions. I'm, I'm using all my intel on this assassination. Is he going to see it? Oh, he just ran a ship over. I think he just realized it. Oh, man. Okay. But then Atreides is going to be there in the darkness. In the darkness binding them. Uh, let's go ahead and just start buying some chum shares up, even though they're a little bit expensive right now. That was pretty big that we got that. And do we have enough for another assassin? We're at negative right now. We need to kill some units for uh, to get some intel. Is there any way we could just get intel? Like, if we get one more assassin in there... Yeah, Carino's working for me, to an extent. Um... I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to trade with the AI. That's basically cheating, in my opinion. Um, all right, so Speaker of the Council. Let's add this to... Ooh, Harkonnen. Okay, that, that is exactly what we were looking for, baby. Three assassins? Sign me the hell up for that. All right, so do we have enough? We're at negative 14 because it is expensive to maintain these assassination attempts. Oh, we're going to lose one of our infiltration cells, though, which is not good. So um, let's go ahead and cut you and get rid of Plasteel. And just get some more um, some more of this. And looking okay. Get rid of you. And we can get the uh, the data center too. The fuel cell region, we probably want to... Okay, great. So we just got a lot of these guys back. But is it still going? I believe it is. Uh, trying to assassinate the Emperor is going to be very difficult. And we just have to hope he doesn't notice those. Uh, there's no way it'll ever complete. Okay. So yeah, we need to kill. We just need to kill Ekazen because they're too far ahead on Hedge. Karino's like right behind him, but it uh, it is what it is. All right, so we tried. We tried the sneaky schemes. So let's do this. And um, let's go ahead and decline that. Do Karino. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, sure. I'm down to work with the Emperor on this one. We're going to go take this special region over here, slow him down. I was just going to go for a main base kill, but this works too. All right, so our agents are back from their glorious missions. Uh, let's go ahead and get a decoy thumper. Our intel should start rebuilding. Are they going to go for anything here? Maybe. Maybe they want it. I'm not sure. No, he's just gathering. Okay. So we're going to be able to take that special region. We're going to actually capture it for ourselves, which will give us a bit of a bump. And then um, if we can get the symbols of authority, yeah, maybe we can build, start building some crafts workshops and sneak a, sneak a victory in there somehow. All right, so let's clean that out. Is that an airfield? If he flies over here, his main base gets torched. So I think that's, uh, that's pretty good. All right, so we're going to take that for ourselves. Take down the airfield. Too many flies biting me. I know, it's, it's, how, it's how it goes, man. What do you have here? He actually has some good buildings, so we'll just keep them. All right, so we just hold and grab this. Um, we have the Savage Cleansing. Is there any other territories nearby I can grab? I could grab this one. So let's have you guys do this and get ready to grab that. Cool, so we need to get some of these. The assassination attempt probably had him stressed, though. Had him sweating bullets. All right, so everything's going fine over here. Everything's fine here. Uh, Plasteel, we can probably keep getting rid of it. I really like that. It was something I always neglect to do, but it can make a huge difference on uh, the intel game. Oh, we need... Shit, he could be trying to assassinate me for all we know. 
Let's uh, throw a couple crappy agents up there and hope for the best. It's going to be a little nice switch for us, though. Um, and then, yes, let's get the Toxic Vapors, too. Probably can get that naturally. Is he going to come up here? Calls a sandworm in this region. Okay. So he looks like he was thinking about it. We're probably going to get this. He can't leave his main base, but the Atreides are also creeping in. Siege Warfare. Oh, he has his drones. That's so troll. I hate that so much. Oh, it's so obnoxious. Okay, so after this, I need to go deal with the Atreides. So I'm going to go take this Atreides base over here, and or just take them off the middle, for example. I will take Atreides after this. AI is cheating. If it's the AI, I'm not sure. Um, looks like there's some funny business here. Can't let them have this. Are we in a non-aggression? We are not, but um, even if he attacks me here... I think we're okay, like because we have all the militia and a turret, so let's let them trigger that first. And we'll send in the troopers. Is that what they're doing? Alright, so let's attack there. We're going to take that base, and then we need to get the Atreides off the middle. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and get the supplies in case we go into deep desert. And uh, cool, so we got this now. Um, let's get our own airfield there. Outstanding. So they've been slowed down. Carino is also cackling at 24. I really need to get... I wish I could get the, uh, the other one. It's so hard for Harkonnens to play that game. Okay, I'm low. Kill Carino. Yeah, is he low? Yeah, sounds good. Deal. Deal. Alright, so probably just wait for the airport to finish. It's going to be a minute. Alright, craft workshop there isn't doing too much for us. And, um... What is this? Are we pillaging the siege? Oh, we actually got that. Nice. Okay. That's great. Wait, I'm killing his base? Yeah, but he's not a threat now. Carino's a little bit more of a threat with the passive hedge. All right. Ah, oh, the Atreides took that base, just barely. All right. So, come on. Give it to me, precious. So, do we have the batteries now to do the big nukes? We do. Yes. Win or lose this tournament, ladies and gentlemen, we're going out on our shield. We are going to have some good times, I can assure you. All right. So, I haven't really been monitoring, monitoring my income too much, but regardless... I think we're in okay shape. Um, we need to just push back the Atreides here, though. So let's just throw an old sandworm in this region. That should stop them. And we have good authority, so we can take another special region. Probably we'll take the middle. Ekaz is farming hegemony right now with their champions. Oh, man, it's going to be tough to race the Emperor, though. It's going to be very tough. I can probably kill his main base very quickly, like very, very quickly. Um, do we have defense breaches? Yeah, we need to get the defense breaches. At some point, that's going to be a big variable. All right, so Atreides, we need to take some territories, namely special ones. Looks like they're going after the sieges, which is strange. Classics. Who would have, who would have known? Um, I'm taking mid from Atreides. Yeah, I'm just letting them know so they don't like come after me. All right. So defense breaches is ready. So we're gonna we're gonna take the middle there. We have this special region, and I don't think symbols of authority is gonna finish in time, guys. Taking middle from the Atreides here, and then I'll take the other one too. If I could get like both those, shit, that's gonna be a big big spike in power for sure. Um, other techs, sleeper agent is good, and um, yeah, all right. So governorship again, shit, man. Um, we, I could vote Ekaz on that, which would pretty much guarantee their death. You know, it would, it would put them in the old can. Trades there chilling out, but we're going to take the middle from them, and, uh, I think we have the authority to do it. Yeah, we do. It's 347, so. So is that a Concord Chamber? Okay, let's grab that. Yeah, decline governorship. I could vote Ekaz to guarantee their doom. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, but yeah, let's decline that. I do have good votes. So we're taking this region. Let's go over here and take this also. I don't think we'll have enough to do both. All right, boys. You hang there. This game's getting really close. All right, Chum shares. Let's buy Chum. Should have been doing it up to 30%, but I'm kind of like always nervous to spend my money in the late game here. Obviously, mistakes have been made, but it's been a really good game regardless. All right, so that's going to slow Atreides, their roll down quite a bit. Let's just do that. Keep buying. And uh, we need to annex this. We're here for you. you guys fight. Do this. And we got the supply drop of the gods going down here. 
Karino's creeping up on Hegemony pretty hard, but I can probably just straight up kill one of their main bases. All right, so let's just have these guys just put an end to this uh, this push, to this Atreides kind of position here. And we're about to jump up in Hegemony pretty well too, but we don't have the craft workshops. It's so hard to get them with Harkonnen. It's like such a late game tech, right? All right, let's keep buying. Let's uh, decline the governorship. I wish I was eligible. I would. I would probably. Um, I would probably be pretty happy for sure. Okay, let's farm some of these. We're gonna get the middle. The special region here would be 366. Um, Davok is fighting hard there. Once, what's his what's his hegemony at? 22k. Okay, this is where we backstab the uh, the other the other gentleman. We're gonna get as soon as we deal with the Atreides position here. We're gonna get the Carino, and uh, we're gonna be living our best life for sure. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. These guys. Uh, let's get this. Lands Chad guards everywhere. Ay ay ay. All right. Let's just consolidate our forces. Screw it. We almost got this one liberated. Got to make sure we hold someone there. Water supply is getting a little bit sparse. We're almost at 37%. We really need to get there. All right. So once this is dealt with, the Atreides should be slowed down pretty considerably. And we're going to get a nice little buff too. Um, Davok is going that way to do God knows what. Probably going to lose his main base. All right. Any other missions we want to do? Yeah, the worm drop is always good. We can probably kill like that main base in like just like instantly. It's going to be like super quick. Okay, so Atreides have been pushed out of the center. Um, let's build a nuke. Just, you know, because we're this is going to be a hedge game. So a nuke could make a pretty big difference, actually. All right, so we're trying to hold this one. Atreides AI putting up a bit of a fight. Do supply drops here. We've taken the middle. So let's immediately get all this. And uh, this obviously doesn't do enough, anything for us. Our military is way stronger than theirs, too. All right. So we're up on hedge, but we don't have the passive income. Um, they might be coming for me. I'm not sure. I don't have passive. Don't worry. All right, cool. So this needs to go ahead and become this. Plascrete, we don't need. Water extractor will take all day. And what are the rates right now? 3,000? Oh, it's so tight. I think it's necessary though. We need to get there. All right, so special region's pretty sweet. He's locked in Mortal Kombat there. Um, man, that Imperial base is just so, so it's, oh wow, I, that's right. The Har it's, it's cheaper to retake bases that you had before as the Harkonnen. Um, all right, so that's good. We've gotten the hegemony lead, but not by much. So this is where the dreaded backstab needs to happen. Um, Davok is falling behind. I do have a nuke. We're going to be able to build craft workshops very soon. We're at 26%. Damn, dude. We're not quite able to get there. Um, Landsrad standing. No, thank you. The rates are really good right now, but we need to keep banking. Big ass army. Huge, huge army. Uh, yeah, I got to go take down. I got I to gotta punish the, uh, the emperor here. All right, we have siege incentives, all that sort of good stuff, so that's good. And um, now we can go ahead and drop a worm if we want to. Attack him now. I will hit main base. All right. Here we go. All right, so moving. Let's break this pact. Hopefully, Davok will start reclaiming some territory. Um, we'll drop the worm. And let's, uh, let's party. Let's party like it's 1999. Combat drugs, all the goodies. All right, so now we need to go ahead and get sleep reagent, combat drugs, and um, we need to get the defense breaches again. All right, so this is good. The main base is gonna go down for sure. We're pounding it. We're, we're definitely giving it the business. Um, let's get a turret here. And that's big, because then we can go after the nest and we can take that back, and that gives us a pretty nice little hegemony push. Come on, give it to me. Come on, kill the main base. That's going to weaken them pretty massively. Come on, come on, come on, boys. Come on, come on. And did we get it? We do. Okay. Outstanding. So now we can retreat. 
Yes, the Harkonnen betrayals. You should have expected it. The Baron, the Baron, uh, you know, that's what he's all about. Let's do a decoy thumper here to keep the aggression. And now, you know, this is going to work for us for sure because he's going to keep that. So now we need to get the passive hegemony buildings like everywhere. Uh, Symbols of Authority is about to finish, so that's going to be good. And let's get all of you guys. Cool. So we've taken a little bit of a lead. We do have a nuke in the back pocket. So let's get this and get the hegemony building. Come on, can that finish? For the love of the Dark Gods. Uh, all factions gain. So let's just vote for ourselves for Water Sellers Union. See if we can get that. And I just need to start reclaiming territories now. Come on, this is the longest deck I've ever seen. Okay. Davok needs to slow him down now. Okay, that's good. Um, as far as this goes, let's just do that. We have the nuke if it comes down to it to win the game. Let's get that and special regions. We need to go ahead and delete this and get this also. And do we have any more special regions? We do, we have one up here. Let's pop that like it's hot. And uh, let's go ahead and get this and cool. So now we could try and decap some of their stuff or we could, um, so we have passive hegemony now, which should be good. We can also get it oppressing. So let's cut this and get the oppression going here. Yeah, because the passive could still catch us. He uh, he still wins with passive at the moment. He still wins with passive at the moment. All right. All right, so perfect. Let's do this. Let's go edit that. We got the craft workshops coming up on all fronts with the nuke. Um, any territories I can take? I could go take some of these Atreides territories, but take in the special region. Do it. Do it. Baron says do it. All right, let's get down here. And what else do we want to get? Um, the Harkonnen backstab. I mean, what do you expect? You know, what do you expect? And I have a nuke, so if they get crazy on me, I can definitely drop some bows. Um, all right, so let's get the turret. All right, so let's move in. Trigger the militia here. And uh, just keep spamming out units. All right, so we've cleaned those guys out. Let's take all these. Sleeper agents, chase down whoever we can, keep you guys back. And more of you guys, perfect. He's got some troops coming in, but nothing we can't potentially just beat down. All right, boys, go. Let's get you on the tanks, and let's get you on the tanks here. We're trying to take that region, but it's not going to be all sunshine and rainbows, that's for sure. Atreides might be able to cheat, uh, cheat and beat us, so maybe I need to just go after the Atreides and play defensively against these, but getting this territory is just going to be so prime time. All right, so you guys are going. Let's get you here. If we get this, we have pretty good chances of winning, actually. Um, so maybe we just park on here and just do this. Yeah, go for it. All right. So looking fine. We got this base. This is going to give us a really, really big surplus. And we'll just kind of keep hanging out here. Let's get our machine guns. Hopefully he doesn't notice those. Oh, we can make mercs now too. Yeah, that's right. We can just spam those out. Okay, one plane down. Let's get the other hammer down. The boys are there. Shuttle down. Go, go, go. Make mercs, make mercs. They have guns. Harkonnen doesn't really have good long range shooting in the air, so... That's uh, it's it's tricky, tricksy hobbits is for sure. Um, let's go ahead and get the um, sleep agents. It's really good in case he comes to try and fight me again in melee. All right, so that's looking fine. Come on, baby! I haven't won a game with Harkonnens in so long. We get this, that'd be nuts. Two seventy, so we go grab that. That'll slow down the Atreides for sure. We got a nuke in the back pocket. Um, ooh, could Davok be making a play? Could be, we could see a play from Davok for sure. He could, he's really good. He can find a way back in this. All right, so let's get uh, more executioners. The dreaded Harkonnen backstab is always a viable tactic. All right, let's go take that. Um, for this region, we need to get the, uh, well, they have, they have two of them for us there, but we can only utilize one because we don't have the uh, building tech and whatnot, but it's really nice that they already have that. Spice Harvester is gonna come out, we grab this. And we nuke anything that tries to stop us. 
Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Is he, is he really coming back here to try and stop that? I'm not sure. Um, we should have enough to get this building in a second. All right, so how much is that going to be? 289? Shit, that's still a little ways away. If we could get another special region, we just straight up win. But they're... the Atreides one down here, we could make a play on. But how much is that going to cost? 407, not possible. All right, so Atreides are coming to fight us here. We have plenty of the craft workshops. We have nukes in the back pocket. So if anything gets crazy, we can nuke. Um, all our bases are pretty secured. We just need a little bit more to get that. 289. Just keep beating down these Atreides units. They will learn of your might, Baron. All right, let's get an airfield here so we can shuttle in reinforcements as needed. Do this. We have a little bit of manpower. Let's slap the base on that. Um, Chome shares. Yeah, let's buy. See if we can get to 30% real quick for the final fighting. And uh, let's see. Godspeed, Carino. I'll do what I can. Dude, he's going to get nuked so hard if I see him go in any of my regions. Which is cool because it makes it so they can't capture it, but I also maintain control of it. All right. Decoy Thumper, we see him coming here. And Toxic Vapors. Come on. Come on, we need a Harkonnen win so bad, dude. They never get it. Oh my god, I thought that was bugged for a second. I was like, am I really not going to be able to get this? All right. Uh, let's have you guys hold position. Let's do the uh, Toxic Vapors on that region to try and slow them down. Okay. Yeah, we got it! We won the tournament, baby. Let's go. Gah. Let's go. A Harkonnen dub, nonetheless. I didn't even get to 30% chome, but the Haggard backstabbing schemes were good. Yeah, it was a shame that Hadri's disconnected, but um, yeah, after an hour of play, we can't we can't really restart. GG, well played. He was also pretty far behind, so probably would have been relatively similar, although it would have been slightly more defense on grabbing those points. But yeah, GG, well played. All right, guys, let's go take a look at the breakdown. Dude, I can't believe we got that. I can't believe it. Oh, man. Oh, it didn't show us. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Um, we're going to fire up another tournament very, very soon. And uh, and yeah, that's going to be it, man. The Baron, he got it. GG. The desert takes the weak. My desert. My Iraqis.